how can I convince my family or friend to get vaccinated? Well, it's really reasonable that people have questions and concerns about the COVID vaccine. So the most important thing is to uh, give your friend an opportunity to express what they're concerned about and to not jump in and try and correct them uh, after they've expressed their first concern. And then to ask them if you can share what you know about the vaccines or point them to really good, trustworthy, reputable information. And of course, remind them about the severity of COVID disease. And then just recommend that you think it is a good idea for them to get vaccinated, but you don't need to engage in a battle or an argument with them. It's not worth threatening your friendship or your relationship with your family. And then just leave the door open. You can come back to the conversation at another time. Will I need a vaccine booster shot each year? Well, it's really unclear at the moment whether people are going to need a booster shot. The most important thing is that everyone has two doses of the vaccine that they are eligible to get, whether that's AstraZeneca or Pfizer. And then the decision about a booster will actually probably be made next year and will depend on which variants are circulating in the community, what COVID disease rates are like, and the level of protection uh, of, of COVID vaccination in the community. Is there a microchip in the vaccine? You'd be surprised how often we're asked this question. So of course there are no microchips in the COVID-19 vaccines. And this is a conspiracy theory that actually has been circulating really widely on social media. But if you think about it, there's no way you could fit a microchip into um, the liquid in the vaccine and then actually have it go down the needle and be injected into you. So um, that's actually been you know, really commonly asked and it's absolutely not true. True. Will mRNA vaccines be incorporated into your DNA? This is a really commonly asked question and in fact it's a, another conspiracy theory that circulates widely on social media and the answer is no. The mRNA vaccines actually contain a small little piece of genetic code uh, which is actually RNA and that's encapsulated in a little fat bubble or a lipid nanoparticle and it's that nanoparticle that moves into the cell um, and the fat bubble dissolves and the mRNA is read by the cell to make the spike protein. And that's what our body produces an immune response to. But that little piece of genetic code does not go anywhere near your nucleus um, to be able to get incorporated into your DNA. So it's actually not possible for it to be incorporated into DNA. Well, I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions about the COVID-19 vaccines today. We know that if we're gonna get out of this pandemic, that we're all gonna to have to work together to get really high vaccine coverage. And we've still got a long way to go. We've got to do this for ourselves, for our families and for our communities so that we can actually get back to that way of life that we love so that we can travel and move around and see our family and friends freely. So please go ahead and get your vaccine. <laughs>